Let's go ahead and talk about Caspad version or Caspa. Caspad would be like the Caspa daemon. There you go. It is time to update. We're going to talk about it. Four hours ago was the release, so you can start updating your nodes now. What is Caspa? Caspa is the coin that I've been spec mining here recently. It is basically a modified version of heavy hash. Heavy hash for the uninitiated is optical proof of work. Now, because of the way the hardware needs to be developed for op optical proof of work, etc., the proof of work mechanism or the, the hardware that is mining it is going to be your traditional CPU and GPU mining with, of course, GPU mining being more profitable at this current time. We're going to cover the hard fork and what's going on there, what's mandatory, what's not, all that sort of stuff. And then we'll get into the regular topics afterwards. So here it is. Like I said, released four hours ago on, what is it, April 14th, 2022. This version contains a hard fork at DAA score uh, 1468758. Eight, three estimated to be on the 28th of April at this time 1638 UTC the upgrade is going to be mandatory and everyone who doesn't upgrade will be split off the network the main focus of the hard fork is to address the issue of deep side chains that spam the network after the hard fork is activated such side chains will be ignored unless they win the block race and have more blue work than the rest of the network Preferably, if you are in these types of communities, just to give you guys an idea, there are always going to be uh, possibilities of like these hard forks happening. Longest chain wins. This is pretty typical. Since it's a small project, I definitely encourage everybody to move with them, allow them to get their upgrades in, all of that sort of stuff, right? That's that's our goal as a community here. So. Here's the breaking changes, hard fork at DAA score, blah, blah, blah. We already did that. It includes using separate depth than finality depth for merge set calculations, not counting the header size as part of the block mass, increase block version to one, and removing the limit on amount of CAS that can be sent in one transaction. That's going to be helpful too. Here's some bug fixes. They're making a workaround for the UTXO difficulty child bug and used cosigner index zero for read only wallets. Non-breaking changes, adding a sweep command to the Caspa wallet. Use blue work heuristic to skip irrelevant relay blocks and Caspa wallet daemon, they add a send and sign commands. So just kind of one step at a time, very early project you have until essentially the 28th of April to get upgraded to make sure that you're on the right chain, all that sort of stuff, and that you can continue to, of course, mine, earn Caspa, get ready for that exchange listing that is coming up. So that's pretty much the coverage there because I do spec mine it. I'm just keeping you guys up to date. I know I haven't done a how to video on it. Maybe now's a good time since we just had a major update for the hard fork. So it may be relevant a little bit longer than if I did it like last week or the week before where we would have to be like, oh, and now there's another update. So we're going to go through it and we're going to kind of try to put some stuff together for you guys. If you're interested in solo mining it, there is, of course, the option to pool mine, which is a little bit easier. That being said, you're still going to have to set up basically a command line wallet, whether that's in Linux or Windows. We could cover that as well too. But that's pretty much where we sit with Casper right now. I hope you enjoyed this clip from the Crypto Mining Morning Show every Monday through Friday, 7.45 a.m. Pacific and 10.45 a.m. Eastern Time. You can check out more clips here, or if you're interested in checking out the entire live show, you can check that out down here. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next Tuesday.